Good evening, Awkward Nuts. It's Tuesday. DFTV. Hello there. It's nice to see you again. I will link last week's theme down there in my pants. Since this week's theme is no theme. I don't know what to talk about, so, hmm. Everyone tries to bring in babies at work, or kids, like even older, younger kids, like in between infant and ten. People try to bring in kids. Don't bring in your kids. <laughs> I liked everyone's answers for the Doctor Who survey. Good choice for most people in the group. <laughs> if you guys are wondering where that Awkward Zone Defeated uh, poster came from, I will link that comic down in my pants as well. It's called Questionable Content, and I got into that webcomic because of my best friend, Sydney, who I get to see this weekend. And we're gonna party like we know how to party in the living room on our computers, <laughs> watching Netflix. Actually, we are going to go see an awesome band that you should check out as well. They are on tour, so they might be coming near you. Actually, they are coming to Colorado Springs Cat in only a couple days or a day after they're coming here. So you should check them out. They're Alameda. That is what I'm doing on St. Patrick's Day. I don't think I have much Irish in me, and even if I did, I wouldn't be Irish because I'm not from Ireland. So I'm not really going to celebrate, um, except by going to this lovely concert with, with lovely friends. Lauren, I didn't realize for some reason that you were on spring break last week, and I hope that you had a wonderful week off of a stress-inducing life of grad school. You are a brave person by going to grad school and doing more of that. Even though, even though, I have been watching Community, the TV show Community, and it, it, I know it's a parody of what happens at college and a community college, but I, it makes me miss some parts of college. I miss college. Like, having close people around you all the time. Like, it's lovely living with Mark, but it sort of sucks not having close friends around all of the time. So maybe I'll take a class or two. Because my brain can only remember what happened to me today, uh, <laughs> I, was, I just got home not too long ago, and I ran into my upstairs neighbors who were walking their dog, and I heard his little paws on the concrete, so I waited for them at the door, and they said, Where's Mark and Sarah? And the little dog, whose name is Panko, he, like, scratched at our door with their balls. <laughs> His balls. The dogs play balls that he plays fetch with. Sometimes roll off their balcony onto our patio, so they say, oh no, it went down to Mark and Sarah's, and so we have to run their balls up or, like, throw them on their balcony for him. So I, apparently they've trained their dog that Mark and Sarah are the ones who live downstairs who also have balls. I thought it was adorable. Randomness detected. In other news, it has been so gorgeous out lately. Instead of the 30s and 40s Fahrenheit, it has gotten to well above 60 degrees this week. So it's, it's really nice and I'm hoping tomorrow it's not that cloudy or gross because I have tomorrow off. So I'm going to go rollerblading. I just got a new helmet, and it fits properly, and I'm going to go out and rollerblade around my neighborhood like an awesome 90s person. So I'm going to explore and maybe vlog? Maybe. Except I see a disaster coming if I rollerblade and film at the same time. That really might not be a good idea. The exciting stories of Sarah. Random transition. You want to see something else that's really awesome? Our friend, whose birthday is this next weekend, whose party is going to be awesome while our other friend is in town, uh, she, on Halloween, made us this pumpkin, and it's still alive.
it's still intact. Like, wouldn't you think a pumpkin would die after how many months is this? After four and a half months, it is still alive. No mold, no mold whatsoever. It's not rotting. And oh, if you didn't know who those were on that pumpkin, it's Marceline and Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time, and Ashley, who drew it, is pretty darn awesome. Randomness detected. My feet stink. I have them up in my lap. They sort of smell. Because I've been in shoes all day, and feet go in shoes. Ew. While we're looking around the apartment for things to talk about, I recently received Julia Noon CD. It is amazing. If you like Julia Noons at all, or ukulele music, or YouTubers who make awesome music at all, she has written all of her songs, and it's pretty amazing. You can download it, but I wanted a physical copy, because I like physical copies. Physical copies and happy dances. Happy shoulder rolling dances. Random vlog is random. Random vlog is random. Random vlog is random. Random, random, random. I'm so happy I'm off tomorrow. I can stay late and be random all I want. But not too loud because Mark is sleeping. I should probably stop. I'll stop here. I hope you all have a wonderfully random and exciting week. Alex, I will see you tomorrow and Awkward Knots, DFTBA. I burnt the roof of my mouth on some pizza that was not even good. I know that I should have waited for the cheese to cool down, but I was really, really hungry because I forgot to eat breakfast. Thus ends my singing on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your enthusiasm of me never singing on YouTube again.